Hey everybody, James with Love My Pups, My British Supply. Part of a 12 series of videos on animal genetics. We are now down to a video number nine. We're coming towards the end. Um, check us out, subscribe to us. Go, go to My British Supply, look at the products we sell. We sell great products that you will absolutely can have successful litters when you use our products. Okay, so platinum. Platinum, we're getting into the rarer colors. We're getting into, so if you go back a few years ago, you hardly saw any platinum dogs at all. Now, platinum dogs are a lot more common. And the reason why they weren't common back some time ago is you've got to get all the genetic gods together to produce a platinum dog. A platinum dog is a, a, uh, a blue dog <clears throat> and a chocolate dog, which there's two versions of chocolate. So there's the little bees and there's the little COs, cocos and cream, two copies of cream. That is a platinum dog. That's a platinum. <clears throat> and um, why is, how can you tell a platinum dog from a cream dog? The answer is you cannot. Platinum dogs and cream dogs, little e, little e dogs, it's like white paint. It completely covers up all the other things that are there. It's hard to tell a cream dog from a platinum dog from a champagne. A champagne, by the way, is a dog that is a, is a, a chocolate covered in cream, would be a champagne. A blue covered in cream is just called that. We don't have a name for that. I don't know why, but we don't. But a platinum is a dog that is a blue dog, is a chocolate dog, is a cream dog. And of course, there's two different versions of this. It could be little co, little co, little e, little e, that's fine. Or it could be one step even better than that. And it could be a dog that is both a little B, little B, little C, O, little C, O cream dog. And that would be a new shade. That, by the way, you might call that an Isabella Platinum. This one you might call a Platinum. This one you might call a new shade Platinum. But you can see, you know, to get this to happen, you've got to get everything lined up exactly right. And so that's why it's not so easy to produce a Platinum dog. So let's just get rid of these top ones here. And let's go back and start talking about... Um, Okay. So, how do you get this? Well, if you put a platinum dog and breed that back to another platinum dog, what do you get? Well, this always produces blues. This always produces chocolates. This always produces creams you get an entire litter of all platinum dogs. No, if you don't, you've got something wrong. If you put a platinum dog with a platinum dog, you have to get all platinums. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Now, remember, there's two versions of platinum. There's the one that has the cocoa gene, and there's the one that has the testable chocolate gene. And if you put them together, you're gonna to be sorely disappointed because you're not gonna get any platinums out of it. You'll get all cream dogs that carry, you'll get blues covered in cream, that carry both cocoa and testable chocolate, but you will not have platinums. I don't want to go on to, in any great detail about that because I think we really discussed that in the last video about this different versions of chocolate, the last couple of videos. So let's see how the ways we could get this. So let's mate this with an unremarkable dog, a dog that carries blue, a dog that carries chocolate, a dog that carries cream. That dog is probably going to be a fawn or a brindle. Um, and what are we going to get out of this? Well, half the time we're going to get blues and half the time we're going to get blue carriers. Half the time we're going to get chocolates and half the time we're going to get chocolate carriers. And half the time we're going to get creams and half the time we're going to get cream carriers. That's what we're going to get. So what do you get in a mix for puppies? Well, the answer is, is the chance of getting a blue is a half, the chance of getting a chocolate is a half, and the chance of getting a cream is a half. A half times a half times a half is a one eighth. Half times a half is a quarter, half times a quarter is a one eighth. One eighth of the litter are gonna be platinums. So you can see, not so easy to produce. If you have a litter of eight puppies, you'd expect one to be a platinum. If you have a litter of you know, one or two puppies, there's a good chance you won't get a platinum out of it. Conversely, one eighth of the puppies 
are going to be just like this one here. They're going to be blue chocolate cream carriers. They're going to be, I'm going to call this nothing dogs in terms of their genetics. I don't want to be rude about that. So now what are we going to get left with? Well, we're going to get uh, one, uh, well, the math's kind of a bit funky here. So um, uh, there's some apps that you can run like Bakia and uh, uh, Color My Frenchie. They're both apps that are on the App Store that are really good at helping you decide exactly how the math works out. And, and every time I do this, I have to kind of work on it a little bit myself. But basically, um, one eighth of the time, you get creams that don't carry, they just carries all the other colors. One eighth of the time, you'd get blues that don't carry any of the other colors. One eighth of the time, you'd get chocolates that don't carry the colors. So there's a quarter and a quarter is a half. Let's see what we got here. We've got a half there. The other half are gonna be, you're gonna get some blues and chocs together. Um, you'll get some blues and creams. So get some blues covered in cream. And you'll get some chocolates covered in cream. So that's a flat, that's a champagne. So you can see, you're gonna get a really interesting combination of dogs again. You're gonna get platinums and dogs that don't have their fawns or brindles. You'll get some creams, you'll get some blues, you'll get some chocolates, you'll get some blue, and you'll get some lilacs, you'll get some um, blues covered in cream and some champagnes or chocolates covered in cream. The whole smorgasbord, and I had to go do the math on this, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, an eighth of all of these. So there's your answer. You got a one and eight shot of any one of those colors. So there you go. Whole smorgasbord of colors. What a fun litter that would be. So again, this was, now, you know, if we, if we want to do some things like make this a blue dog that carries, if we make this a blue dog that carries chocolate and cream, now every dog has to be blue. We just got rid of uh, the nothing dogs. They're gone. Just got rid of that. Uh, and basically we've got now one quarter of the dogs will be blues that carry chocolate. And one quarter of the dogs will be blues that, ca that, that carry cream. And I think I just got the math right now. And one quarter of the dog will be blues. So I don't know if the math works out, right? Should all add up to one. So you can see you just, you got a lot more blues coming out if you did that. Conversely, if you, if you take this and make this dog a, <clears throat> um, let's see, sorry, make that a, a chocolate dog that carries blue, you get more blues in it. If you make this a cream dog that carries the other ones, then you're gonna get more creams in it. So lots of different ways to look at it, but you can see you can get a whole different smorgasbord of colors. Um, okay, I think that puts uh, platinums to bed. Thanks for watching, bye everybody.